Chapter 1 How Plants Grow Plants are the ultimate source for all food on the earth. Human beings grow plants to meet their needs for food. Plants are the primary producers on earth. It means that they are the only living things that can produce their own food. Green plants produce food through the process of photosynthesis. Both human beings and animals depend on plants for food. In the process of photosynthesis, green plants take up carbon dioxide and water from their surroundings and convert them into glucose and oxygen. Hence, plants not only supply food to us but also give us oxygen to breathe. In fact, all parts of plants are useful for us. Life on earth is not possible without plants. It is very important that we preserve the plants around us and grow more plants. Growing new plants. Most plants grow from seeds, while some from roots, stems and leaves. A new pea plant grows from its seed. A new rose plant grows from its stem. A new bryophyllum plant grows from one of its leaves. A new carrot plant grows from its root. Growing plants from a seed. Seeds are formed inside the flowers. In many plants, the flowers change into fruits with seeds inside them. A seed contains a baby plant. It has a hard outer cover which is called seed coat. The seed coat protects the baby plant. Inside the seed coat, there are two thick structures called cotyledons. These store food for the baby plant. When water enters the seed coat through a tiny hole, the baby plant begins to grow. Each seed has the potential to grow into a new, full-sized plant like the plant it came from. All seeds do not get the chance to become plants. Some seeds are eaten up by animals. Some don't get enough water or air or warmth to grow. Some are destroyed by rain and storm. A seed needs air, water, the right temperature, fertile soil and the right amount of sunlight to produce a baby plant or seedling. Germination The process by which a seed produces a new plant is called germination. A seed begins to produce a new plant when it takes in water rapidly. This causes the inner layers of the seed to swell, thus splitting the seed coat and other coverings. At the beginning, the seed grows using food reserves from the cotyledons. As the baby plant grows, it uses all the food stored in the cotyledons. After this, it gets food from the soil. It gets the required amount of air through pores in the soil. One part of the baby plant grows downward as roots. The other part of the plant grows upward and becomes stem and leaves. The roots take in water and food from the soil. The stem transports water and food from the roots to the other parts of the plant. The leaves make food by converting water and carbon dioxide into glucose and oxygen with the help of sunlight. Seeds need proper space to grow into healthy baby plants. The seeds that are close to each other will struggle for water, food and light to grow after they germinate. In such cases, many newborn plants would die. Dispersal of seeds Often, the seeds are carried away from the mother plant and grow in far areas. The process by which seeds get scattered away from the mother plant is called dispersal. Let us learn about the different ways by which seeds get dispersed. By wind, the wind carries away many small seeds that are very light and have wing-like structures. The seeds thus get scattered. For example, the dandelion and sycamore fruits are light and have extensions which act as parachutes or wings to catch the wing. The light and hairy cotton seed also gets dispersed by wind. By water, the seeds of some plants such as coconut and lotus get dropped into or near water bodies. The fibrous coverings of these seeds help them float away and germinate at a different place. By animals, some seeds such as cockleburr have sticky or prickly seed coats that stick to the fur of animals. These seeds are carried by animals 
from one place to another and get dropped on the ground later. Seeds are also dispersed by birds and other animals that eat fruit. The undigested seeds pass through their bodies and often end up far from where the birds ate the fruit. By explosion, some fruits scatter their seeds by exploding. The pod ripens, bursts open and forcibly shoots the seeds in all directions. Poppy, pea and bean seeds get dispersed by explosion. Growing Plants from Root New plants of their kind can grow from the roots of the parent plant. Examples Radish, Carrot, Beetroot, Turnip Growing Plants from Stems New plants of their kind can be grown from the stems of parent plant. Examples Potato, Onion, Rose, Hibiscus plant Growing Plants from Leaves The leaf of the Briopillum plant develops many shoot buds. These buds form roots at their base. When these plantlets drop on moist soil, they grow into new plants. Jade and Rex begonia are other plants that can be grown from the leaves of the parent plant. Agriculture The large number of plants grown in a particular region during a particular season to get food or fiber and to provide industrial raw material are called crops. Agriculture is the practice of growing and harvesting crops. Harvesting is the cutting and gathering of ripened crops. Agriculture provides food and different raw materials. An example of a raw material that we get from agriculture is sugar cane. The sugar cane is processed in factories to make sugar. In India, crops are grown based on seasons. Rabi crops are grown from November to April. They are sown in winter and harvested in spring. Wheat, barley and legumes are some rabi crops. Kharib crops are grown from June to October. Rice, maize and jowar are some kharib crops. In hilly areas, farmers grow crops by cutting steps in the mountain side. This is known as step farming or terrace farming. In the hilly areas of Darjeeling and Assam, farmers grow tea plants by step farming. For a healthy crop, a farmer needs healthy and ripe seeds for sowing, fertile soil along with the right amount of manure. Enough water for the crop provided either naturally or through irrigation. Essential agricultural tools 